Hey Kakarot, do you know what the people who are watching should do? What should they do, Vegeta? They should subscribe and hit the like button because they are goats. Yes, I agree, Vegeta. You heard the man. You should now Kamehameha the subscribe and like button. Now! So for the very first time, Dragon Ball Legends is teasing a new unique equipment for non-Legends limited sparking characters. So we are going to talk about it and what this could mean and let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below. Who do you think this character or characters uh, are going to be? Now before we start, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends and if you enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button as well. Now without any further ado, let's just get started. So as you can see, new unique equipment for non-Legends limited sparking characters is coming. Post a comment with your predictions for who will get new equipment next. Check our official social media accounts on the 18th of a April uh, to find out. So basically tomorrow they are going actually to uh, show us what the equipment is going to be. Uh, however, uh, this equipment as they specifically stated isn't going to be for a Legends Limited character, it's, it is going to be for Sparking character. Now, is it going to be for characters or one character? Uh, the, the English side is actually saying for characters while the Japanese side is saying for one character and usually it's the Japanese side that has actually the right ones uh, so it might be only for one sparking character however it could be for more characters as well uh, basically if they make it uh, buff uh, Majin Buu Saga for example uh, that will buff basically any character from the Majin Buu Saga uh, and that is why they could make it either for characters or for one specific character now if they make it for one specific character who that character can be let me know your opinion about it and now we are going to go through some of the characters that i think deserve this equipment so first of all we have the transforming super vegeto he is actually one of the hypest characters they can actually buff and uh, basically uh, make people hype about it uh, and it's a vegeto so you know <laughs> <laughs> he deserve actually some buffs because the last time we got a buff for Vegito was basically during the anniversary. Now, obviously we might get or we are going to get buffs for Vegito during this anniversary as well because it's just something that they can't actually finish the anniversary without. Uh, they are going to give us for sure uh, uh, Vegito Blue Ultra character uh, and that's why I don't know if they are going to go with another buff for fusion and specifically for Vegito during the celebration or not, but he is a still the hypest character they can actually buff during this celebration and therefore I have him here. But let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below. Are they going to go with Vegito knowing that we are going to get uh, Vegito Blue as well during the anniversary or are they going to go with a different character? Now the next character on the list is uh, the Super Saiyan 2 Goku specifically because they are going to give him a Zenkai Awakening. Maybe they are going to give him a unique equipment as well together with the Zenkai Awakening to maybe make him a little bit useful in PvP because currently with how he looks like I don't think that a Zenkai is going to be enough actually to make him useful in PvP unless they go all in on him and I don't think that they are going to go all in on a sparking Zinkai because we saw that uh, sparking Zinkais these days are actually just Zinkai buffs, nothing else. So that's why I think that they might ba basically give him a unique equipment as well together with his Zinkai Awakening and by that they are going to make him maybe useful in PvP, we will see. Now the next on the list is Angel Vegeta. This Vegeta should have been actually the character who received the Zinkai Awakening to be honest because he is a character who would have helped many characters, uh, many teams and he is a character that is hype and uh, is good as well in the game he is a very good character actually in the game so if they would have given him the zinkai awakening he would have become immediately useful in pvp but of course they picked this boy instead 
<laughs> like I really don't understand why. I really don't understand why they didn't actually pick Vegeta. I understand why they didn't pick Vegito because he is a fusion character and they don't want to to buff fusion characters already from now but I really don't understand why they didn't pick Vegeta like seriously he he is the character who should have gotten the Zinkai awakening period end like seriously he should have gotten it but whatever uh, they might actually give him the unique equipment so that he would be useful in PvP as well and don't forget, this is a unique equipment. And if it is for one specific character, it is going to be broken. It's going to be as broken as the Legends Limited unique equipments. And that's going to be crazy. And since they are actually teasing it already before they actually give us it in the game, it seems that it might be a special equipment as well. So we will see what they are going to do with it. But I think that if they give it actually to Angel Vegeta, he is going to... To be immediately useful in in pvp as long as they give him maybe some more defenses and uh, maybe some some effects that makes him relevant in in the current meta like uh, for example uh, card draw speed or cover change nullification if they give him something like that he was he will be actually very very good because his his buffs are already on another level so if he actually become a little bit more tanky and uh, has some equip uh, some uh, effects that allows him to be relevant in the current meta he is going to be directly actually useful in the meta anyways we have another character which is basically Sup super saiyan 3 gotings and this is because he is also one of the most hyped characters they can actually buff during this celebration they didn't give him the zinkai awakening which is pretty interesting maybe because he is a fusion character and he has the same problem as uh, basically um, Vegito, uh, but uh, it might also be because the, he is going to be the ultra character because we still don't know who the ultra character is going to be so it might be a super saiyan 3 gotings uh, we will see what they are going to do most likely the ultra character is going to be actually a massive imagine book character uh, but it's it still could be basically Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks or Ultimate Gohan. Both of them has still a very high, high chance. But from what it is actually going through, I think that it is going to be a Majin Buu character. But we will see. We will see. Anyways, if they give him actually a unique equipment that gives him some useful abilities like uh, uh, card draw speed or basically... Uh, uh, cover change nullification he is going to be a pretty good character now the problem with this character is his timer because he can't stay f uh, in super saiyan 3 forever he actually stays only for 30 timer counts and then he actually just returns into normal uh, super saiyan and that kills him like seriously once he he returns into super saiyan he is dead he gains so many debuffs that it makes him actually completely useless and you want to just uh, throw him in front of a rising rush or something like that so that you get rid of him because he is going to be actually a very bad character on the team once he actually returns into Super Saiyan. So that's why if they actually try to fix that problem somehow... Uh, in his abilities that would be really awesome uh, but since it is a unique equipment i don't think that they are going to be able to do that and uh, if they give him maybe a cover change nullification that would allow him to uh, basically combo uh, the opponents and uh, he is a very good combo character like seriously he can go on and on and on but he doesn't have the cover change nullification and that's why it is a problem for him so if they give him that cover change nullification with an extra stats that would actually make him much better so these are the characters who in my opinion deserve the equipment let me know your opinion about it in the comment section below and i hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about dragon ball legend and with that being said, see you as always in the next video of Dragon Ball Legends.